Hey DIYers, Jared with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to discuss what batteries you can use with the Honeywell 6CT sensors. Now the batteries that you can use are 3 volt or lithium 3 volts CR123A batteries. Um, now the lifespan for these batteries are about 5 to 6 years um, with standard use. And um, if you ever needed to change out the battery, it is very, very simple and um, you know, any end user should be able to do it um, because it is very simple. Now, um, these Honeywell 6TTs are only able to accept one battery each. Um, they cannot use two or more batteries, it's only one battery. Now, to give you a little backstory about the Honeywell 6CT sensors, um, these are door and window contacts that you would use to be basically monitor any doors or windows. And when you're setting these up, you want to uh, make sure that you're setting up the magnet and the sensor at the appropriate uh, distance. So, for example, um, I do have a Honeywell 6T, 6CT sensor right here with the magnets. And um, when you're setting these up, normally you're going to put the magnets on the door frame or the window frame and then you're going to have, I mean, you're going to have the sensor on the door frame or the window frame, and then you're going to have the magnet um, normally on the door or the window itself. Now, when you're setting these up, we do recommend that you have the magnet and the sensor at least touching or very close to each other. Um, but worst case scenario, if there's a gap or anything like that, um, then you can, uh, you know, push out the magnet about three fourths or three quarters of an inch um, from the sensor. So you want to keep that in mind when you're setting these up. Now the Honeywell 6CT sensors um, are designed to be able to be used with the Residio Lyric controllers. Um, now the communication method between the system and the sensor is going to be encrypted. It's going to be using 128-bit encryption. Now when you're using these sensors, uh, whenever the magnet is pulled away from the sensor, for example, um, you have the magnet and the sensor sitting right here, and if the magnet were to be pulled away from the 6CT, um, it's basically separating from the metal reed switch on the inside. And this reed switch uh, then triggers a signal that, it, that the sensor has been opened or the door or window has been opened, and it will send the signal directly to the Honeywell Leard panel itself. And again, that signal is going to be encrypted. It's going to use the 128-bit encryption method um, to send out that signal. So like all wireless sensors, uh, they do use battery power to be able to send out alarm signals and send the status or show the status. So uh, the action of the Honeywell 6CT sensor is actually all mechanical and the battery is mainly used to be able to allow it to send out the alarm signals and um, you know, show the active status over to the panel. Now. Uh, there's a couple of different batteries that you can choose. Um, you know, ch you can choose from for the 6CTs, um, and that includes the lithium 3 volt CR123A battery, and then you have the Duracell uh, DL123A, uh, the Panasonic CR123A, and the Honeywell uh, 466. Now, you know, these batteries are compatible with the Honeywell 6CT, and uh, we do also have them available on our website too if you want to take a look at that. Now, when the Honeywell 6CT communicates with the Honeywell Lyric system, um, it is sending out the active battery status as well. So if you ever wanted to check the battery status um, and see where you're at with that sensor, um, just go in, just hop into the Lyric, go into the certain zones. Uh, you can check it within the zones and you'll be able to see that battery status. Um, now, the batteries for the uh, 6CT, as if well mentioned, uh, they use three volts. Now, whenever um, the battery drops below 2.3 volts, that's when the bat or that's when the sensor is going to send out a low battery signal. Um, so you can swap it out accordingly with one of the batteries I had mentioned. So whenever you get a low battery uh, for that sensor, you always want to make sure that you change out that battery so you don't get an RF supervision loss for that zone. Um, this is very important, especially if you want to make sure that the different areas are secure. Now, whenever you're changing out the battery for the Honeywell 6CT, is very simple, as I said earlier in the video. Um, you know, basically, you just pop off the front cover, and you'll see the battery on the inside, and you'll be able to pop, take it out, and just put the new one in. So, as you can see, I do have a six, uh, Honeywell 6CT right here, and um, what you'll do is, you know, basically, you're just going to slide the cover off, I'm going to push this cover and then take it off. And as you can see, we have the uh, battery on the inside. We have the tamper switch. Obviously, um, our battery is working right now, so we have the light blinking. Um, so what you will do is you're going to um, you know, take out the old battery 
and when you're popping in the new battery you want to make sure that you have the polarity correct um, right on the plastic um, basically past the circuit board you'll see a plus sign and a negative sign um, near the top and bottom so when you're putting in your new battery you want to make sure that you're aligning the positive and negative so right now our positive is at the bottom and our I'm sorry our negative is at the bottom and the positive is at the top so you know let's say we have a new battery you just slide that in place make sure it's uh, nice and snug in there <laughs> and uh, you're basically just going to slide on the uh, front plate again. So one last thing to add about the Honeywell 6CT is that if you did want to check out um, an installation guide to be able to change the battery for this, um, there is going to be a link in the video or in the description below so that um, you know should be able to help you out with doing that. But if anything, as I showed, it is very simple. And those are the batteries that are compatible with the Honeywell 6CT sensors. If you have any questions about the Honeywell 6CT or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications of future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. Give yourself a great day.